Touch and go with lock. Ready to go. Yes, sir. Kevin Mayorka and Suzanne Felix, we are gathered here today in this unique situation on Pi Day 314 at an altitude of 5,358 feet to solidify the love you have found in each other and for each other by committing to marriage of a lifetime at 926 a.m. The care you have taken to pick a day and place that represents an important aspect of your life shows that you both wanted this day to be extra special in more ways than one, and you are already working together to make meaningful things happen for each other. Just a small glimpse at the infinite amount of love you have for each other. You both believe that marriage is a sacred institution, a covenant, a covenant designed by God. Scripture tells how God created a perfect world for mankind in which he prepared a home for Adam where he could enjoy complete happiness. At first, Adam was alone, without a suitable helper, and none of creation brought Adam true satisfaction. God is pictured to have recognized man's incompleteness and inability to achieve perfect happiness without a woman. As a result, God completes his masterpiece of creation by creating a woman and man, uh, Oops, creating a man, oh, creating a woman. Oh, there's supposed to be a period, but I guess there's last it. It's, uh, even the way in which he creates a woman teaches us a story and shows us how woman and man are to relate. Eve was not made out of his head to rule over him, nor his feet to be trampled on by him. Instead, she was made from his side to be equal with him, under his arm to be protected by him, and near his heart to be loved. Kevin, God has created the man as a spiritual head and as responsible provider and as the initiator of love in this human relationship. Your strength must be Suzanne's protection, your character, her pride, and you must live your life so that she will find in you the safety and haven for which the heart of a woman truly belongs. Suzanne, it is God's purpose that you be a loving wife that you respond to Kevin's love in tenderness. It is God's desire that you have an inner beauty of soul that never fades, and that eternal youth is found in holding tight to the things that never age. Kevin and Suzanne, marriage is not merely living for each other. It is two uniting and joining hands to serve God. Seek his kingdom first and his righteousness, and he will add all other things to you. Do not expect perfection from each other, but love each other with patience. Do not minimize or emphasize each other's weaknesses, but always be quick to praise each other's strengths. God will lead you into such situations as will bless you and develop your characters as you walk together. Kevin, there will be days where Suzanne isn't going to agree with you. You may find this hard to believe, but she's not always going to be the perfect angel you see before you right now. Suzanne, from time to time, Kevin's not going to do the things the way you want them done. He will likely do things that will frustrate you. In fact, there will be days when you might not even like him very much. Your marriage will be visited by darker days. This is natural. This is normal. Cling to what is important your commitment, and your covenant of love. Differences can always be worked out. Feelings and emotions will always change. Never take each other's love for granted, but always experience that wonder that exclaims, out of all this world, you have chosen me. When life is done, may you be found then as now, hand in hand, still thanking God for each other. Serve God happily, faithfully, and together until the end. 1 Corinthians 13 states, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. 
love never fails. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. If it is your desire to be united with this beautiful and sacred act of marriage, signify that now by joining hands. Do you, Kevin, take this woman whose hand you now hold to be your true and wedded wife, and do you solemnly promise before God to love, cherish, honor, and protect her, to forsake all others for her sake, to cleave unto her and to her only until death shall part you? I do. Do you, Suzanne, take this man who now holds your hand to be your true and wedded husband? Do you solemnly promise before God to love, cherish, honor, and protect him, to forsake all others for his sake, to cleave unto him and to him only, and him forever until death shall part you? I do. Kevin, repeat after me. I, Kevin, take thee, Suzanne. I, Kevin, take these to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part, to love and to hold and cherish until death do us part, that we may become one in spirit, that we may become one in spirit, one in mind, one in mind, one in affection, one in affection, and above all things, one in Christ. Of all, one in Christ. Suzanne, repeat after me. I, Suzanne, take thee, Kevin. I, Suzanne, take thee, Kevin. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold until this day forward. For from better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until death do us part. To love and to cherish until death do us part. That we may become one in spirit. That we may become one in spirit. One in mind. One in mind. One in affection. One in affection. And above all things, one in Christ. And above all things, one in Christ. At this time, do you have the rings? Yes. Wedding rings have been a part of the wedding traditions in many cultures for thousands of years. In some ancient cultures, it was believed that the ring finger contained a vein that led directly to the heart. Today, the ring symbolized different things. First, the unending circle. We see the symbolic nature of eternity in the ring, an unending circle that has no beginning and no end. Just as God has made an unending covenant with us, today, you make an unending covenant with each other. Secondly, a precious gift. There is a reason husbands and wives sacrifice and exchange rings made of precious and valuable metals and stones. They are precious gifts given to commemorate the value of people involved and the relationship to which they belong. Kevin and Suzanne exchange rings and precious gifts today to communicate how much they value one another. Kevin, as you place this ring on Suzanne's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I pledge myself to you. I pledge myself to you. With all the love of my heart. With all the love of my heart. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Suzanne? Yes. As you place this ring on Kevin's finger, repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I pledge myself to you. I pledge myself to you. With all the love of my heart. With all the love of my heart. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. As it says in Colossians 3, 12 through 17, Kevin and Suzanne, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule your hearts, since as members of one body you are called to peace. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom. And as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ giving thanks to God the Father through him. Kevin, 
and Suzanne. May the love of God reward your faithfulness with joy and peace, which the world cannot give, neither can it take away. As a result of these sacred vows, I am authorized by the laws of the state of Texas and by the laws of God in his word to pronounce you husband and wife. As I do this, let me remind you that from this point on you are one, one in interest, one in reputation, and above all else, one in love. What God has joined together, let no man part. Kevin, you may now kiss your bride. May I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. 